all that's left here, as you see right here, is a pedestal where a female statue was. Wisconsin State Senator Tim Carpenter said people attacked him while he photographed protesters at the state's capitol, as you saw right there. He said he got punched five or six times and was kicked in the head. On Twitter, Wisconsin's governor responded to the violence saying he was prepared to activate the National Guard to protect, to protect state buildings and infrastructure. Earlier on today, we had a few isolated showers and downpours that came through, mainly in the southern Miami Valley. And at about 5, 6 o'clock, I showed you another little batch of showers and storms in northern Indiana. Now, they have diminished, but a few of those downpours have worked into northwestern Mercer County. I just want to point out this thin green line here. That's actually a little bit of an outflow boundary from those cooler showers to the north. So as the rain is falling, it's cooling the air and actually pushing it out to the south and southeast. And you can see a little bit of that green line blossoming showing the wind flow with that cooler air from that shower right now approaching Salina. Bigger picture view that batch of showers is working to the east there's a couple more showers in northern Indiana. They may make it into the northern part of our viewing area but really as we continue through the rest of the night any chances of precipitation will be wrapping up. The rest of us have been enjoying a mainly clear sky and we're going to stay mainly clear and quiet in most spots for the rest of the night. There is an area of low pressure to the north and east of the Great Lakes. With that counterclockwise flow, it's bringing the cooler air aloft, and that created some of those instability showers today. That low pressure will still be close enough by tomorrow, and we'll see another little chance for some spotty showers to form during the peak heating of the day. Currently, we are looking at temperatures falling through the 60s. We'll get down about 59 degrees by early tomorrow morning, and winds continue to subside as well. For our day tomorrow, in the morning, you'll see plenty of sunshine. I'm going to walk you through future cast. There's 7.30 a.m. As we move towards the afternoon, cloud cover starts to return, as well as that chance of an isolated downpour or rumble of thunder as well. Here's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see a downpour there near Urbana, one that could be just to the south and west of the Miami Valley, really just depicting that it's very scattered and light in nature. Most of us may even stay dry once again for tomorrow. Into tomorrow evening around 8 o'clock we go quiet once again. Into Friday morning notice we are dry, plenty of sunshine. We move into the afternoon still mostly sunny to partly cloudy. After 5 o'clock though we're going to watch to the north. Some showers and a few storms start to approach the area and we may see some of them during the mid to late evening hours. There's Friday at, five, at 9 o'clock. As we approach the midnight hour, we're going to watch a line of thunderstorms moving in from the north and west. At this point, it appears that those showers and thunderstorms will continue to move to the south into the night and will wake up on Saturday with perhaps a lingering shower if most of them haven't already pushed to our south. And that's just the beginning of our active weekend forecast. For tomorrow, 59 degrees at 7 a.m. We'll get to about 80 with that chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. A little bit warmer on Friday, 64 in the morning, 86 for a high with a straight shower or thunderstorm. But then we're going to look at that humidity building as well. Into the weekend, we're into the mid-80s. Chance for thunderstorms develop as we get towards Saturday afternoon. And we will have the threat for more thunderstorms on Sunday. So we are going to have an active weekend. You'll have to watch out for that if you do have plans, either Saturday or Sunday. A few more storms return later on Monday. Tomorrow morning, meteorologist Jesse Mag is up with you at 425. He'll have the latest on our rain and storm chances for the weekend. Quick update on the story, our top story at that tonight, involving a man investigators accused of raping a four-year-old child. A spokesperson for Montgomery County Job and Family Services sent us this statement late tonight, saying the Dayton Police Department released a confidential police report to the media.